All right, everybody. So today we're going to look at this age old question of do sprinters land under their hip, their center of mass? And we are going to absolutely unequivocally with video evidence prove the answer. I'm not going to tell you what the answer is. Not yet. I'll tell you at the end. All right. So, of course, I'm not sitting there in the front row seats of stadiums watching these sprinters run. So what I'm doing is I'm relying on video footage that I've found online and I'm relying on these frame rates, which unfortunately in some cases are not great. Um, so I'm re relying on sometimes uh, pretty poor frame rates and I, I want high frame rates so that I can get lots and lots of uh, frames of, of footage to see the exact points that these sprinters land. So we're starting off with the great Usain Bolt. And here comes the first one. So there we go. I mean, do we really need to continue this video on any more than that? Look at where his foot is landing. His foot's landing way out there in front of him. I mean, look at that angle. He is a four foot. In fact, he's a toe striker. He's landing way out there in front of himself. And here's even a, uh, a screenshot two frames later where his foot is still not under his center of mass. So we've got the landing point, which is completely undebatable. Like, what is the landing point? Well, it's the initial contact with the ground. That is not debatable. Oh, the landing point. Boom, right there. There's the landing point. Now, it's not land and then five frames later, or land and ten frames later, or two frames later. It's the landing point. So it's when the foot hits the ground, the initial contact point. So here we've got Justin Gatlin, who probably the second best sprinter ever. And you can see there, look, he's landing way out there in front. There's the line. This is a, not a great camera angle, but actually this camera angle serves me and the proof well, because it, it's showing us everything we need to see. He's landing in front of his center of mass. Can we put this one to bed now? No, let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Keep proving more and more that he's landing in front. Right there. That's one frame after his landing point, his initial contact point. And look, he is in contact with the ground. He's way out there in front of him. Look, there's a line. Look at the angle from his foot to his hip. He's not under his hip. How is this even debatable? How are people not getting this? How are people not getting this? How are professional runners, professional athletes not getting this? Even professional athletes think they're striking the ground under their center of mass. They're not. Oh, look again. There we go. Left leg. One frame after initial contact. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. I, know, I know what it is. It's, they're talking about... When they come out the blocks. Well, when they come out the blocks, that's when they're landing underneath their center of mass. Oh, hold on a second. No, they're not. Look at that. Six strides out the blocks. And look, he's still landing in front of his center of mass, in front of his hip. Can we put it to bed yet? No, let's do more. Let's just keep going. Every sprinter, every runner in the world, ever has and will always land in front of their hip. So here's Justin Gatlin in another race. Look at the landing. Boom. Every time. In front of the hip. Every time. Every time. In front. Look at the guy in blue to his right. In front. Every one of them. In front. Land, pull, toe off. Every one of them. Let's keep it rolling. Let's do some more. This is fun. Oh, look, there you go. Look at the landing point on that one. In front. There you go. In front. Let's roll it through some more. That was a lucky one, of course. Oh, there you go. There's another one. In front. 
Okay, let's pick on random guy closest to the camera. Right there, random guy. Don't know who he is. Where's he landing? In front. Look at where the foot is. Look at where the hip is. Two big arrows. Okay, now let's zoom in again on Justin Gatlin. This is in the Diamond League. Can't remember what year. Doesn't matter. Still the same. He still strikes the ground in front of himself. Doesn't matter what year it is. Doesn't matter what race it is. Doesn't matter what speed he's running at. In front. Carry on. Even here. That's way past initial contact. Okay, let's take it back to Usain Bolt in a different race. Because, of course, the other one that I did was just lucky. Oh, look. Where's he landing? In front. Oh, but that was his right leg. And he's got a scoliosis. So let's check his left leg. Oh, look. Where's he landing? In front. Let's carry it on. Maybe that was lucky. Maybe he hadn't reached top speed yet. Oh no, maybe he was still accelerating. Let's check it again. Right leg. Where's he landing? In front. Let's play it through one more time. The next gate cycle, the next landing. And I'm going to stop this one way after he lands. So, boom, landing, still going. Four frames after the landing. Oh, look. Guess what? Still in front. He hasn't even got to mid-stance yet. So. Do sprinters land under their hip or their centre of mass? As far as I'm concerned, the video evidence shows conclusively and is 100% clear. Absolutely. Absolutely not.